Hello everyone. Welcome back to Color Combo Friday. Last week we talked about cool colors and warm colors. We specifically focused on the cool colors. That is green, blue, and purple. We used the Regal's colors for those, but I'm going to use those cool colors in the subtles and make a card. So join me in my studio and I'll show you how to use cool colors, green, blue, and purple for a fun card. When we look at the subtles colors, we see that they have a mint macaron, a pear pizzazz, and a soft sea foam. So those are the greens that you find in there. They also have one blue and one purple, balmy blue and highland heather. When I pulled these two, I chose to use mint macaron. So let's make a card using mint macaron, balmy blue, and highland heather. I'm gonna move those to the side. And for my card, I'm gonna be using flowers of friendship. I'm gonna use this tall flower here. Um, I'm not really gonna put a sentiment on it. And I know you're wondering, how are you gonna get blue in there? Well, I'll show you in a minute. I've pulled out that image and I am going to stamp it onto a piece of cardstock and all the measurements are listed afterwards. I may cut this down some. We'll see. Um, it does have quite a bit there. I may cut it down. All right, then I'm going to pull in the markers for those two colors and I'm going to use my markers to color the images. So I'm going to use some long strokes. Now if you aren't comfortable doing this, you can always color using your bl using blends. Um, you could use glycerin, you can use uh, water pencils. I had to stop and think what they were. Um, so there's lots of ways to get around it to avoid those lines. And I find if I start and go in one direction in a long stroke, I don't get the lines. So that might be something you want to practice. Now I say that and watch me mess up on this one. All right, so I'm just going all the way up. And if I don't color the whole thing, it doesn't bother me because in nature, there's white on flowers also. All right, so there's one. All right, so far so good. Oh, I missed. Um, I try not to go over. That's um, what I've already colored. That's when you get the lines. Um, but like I said, I've been having, I've ha always had success using long strokes. So that might be something you want to try and play with, like so. And we're almost ready to put this card together. And I know what you're thinking. You don't have any blue yet, Robbie. It's coming. It's coming. All right, so there's our image colored. And I am going to cut this down because I think it needs to be. Well, wait a minute. I'll wait and see. To do my blue, the Euro Peach pattern paper has this blue dotted paper. And I'm going to use it. So I'm pulling out my card base and I used white um, for my card base. I'm going to add my um, pattern paper to it and it has a kind of a grunge look to it but that's okay. All right now my thought is to put it on here like so and I think I'm going to cut it down so give me a minute to cut it down. There we go. I just used my trimmer. I have a guillotine trimmer and I lined it up. And so now I have that, but it's missing something. You know me, it's gotta have some bling. So I'm pulling in this gold um, shimmery ribbon and isn't that pretty together? Oh, I wasn't certain how it was gonna look, but I really like it. Find my ribbon scissors. And I'm going to attach this to the back. This is going to be a clean and simple card. 
And where is my opened? There it is. Hiding from me. My open tear, tear and tape. Um, it's just double sided tape. All right. And there's my bottom. So I'm going to add. And I cut pieces bigger than I need because that gives me the ability to adjust where I put this, the ribbon. Make sure you burnish it real good and then you can lift one end and pull it off. Um, all right, let's see, where does it look good? All right, I think I wanna come down here. I want a little bit at the bottom, but I don't want, there we go. I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna, it's sticky because I've got some, make sure that's even, yes. Like I said, I use a lot of the tear tape because that way I can put it where I want it. And then I'm going to take another piece of tear and tape and put it over top. All right. And I went too far. I'm not going to pull those off because I'm going to put this on dimensionals. But I want to make sure that ribbon stays in place. So I've got to make sure I use the... Um, tear and tape. All right, so I'm going to put some dimensionals on here and I'm going to put put them where I've got that um, extra tear and tape. I should have done a larger piece, but I didn't. So I can make it work. There's always a way. All right. I'm going to add this piece. This will just help keep that um, tear and tape off of the um, card base so that it doesn't get stuck down um, to the card. All right. Almost done. I like, you know, simple cards. Clean and simple. We don't if you're like me, we don't have a lot of time. I mean, sometimes I do take and make some really elaborate cards because sometimes I just need to play, so to speak. But most of the time, my cards are clean and simple because who has, you know, I've got a lot going on and the holidays are coming, so we all have things we got to get done and the backs on these are giving me a fit today all right got them get these out of here there all right now i'm going to add this over here like so and i'm not going to do a bow i'm going to do a knot for a change i know you're all saying a not a bow but I just feel like this one needs a knot. And I am going to do a double knot because I want to make sure it stays tied. And this ribbon is kind of slippery, so by doing a double knot, I'm in good shape. All right. Cut that off. Cut that off. And there's our card. And I need a sentiment. Hmm. These are all... Thank you, sentiment. So I'm not certain what I'm going to put on here for some sentiment. So you'll be able to see when I put it on the blog because you'll be able to find it and to take and see what I've done. I hope you've enjoyed today's color combination of green, blue, and purple from the Settles collection. Join me next week as I look at the Brights collection and come up with the card using those cool colors. Have a great weekend, guys.